everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and welcome to another grocery haul and meal plan video. This week I do have a meal plan. I still have to go hit up Sprouts. I just need a couple of things from there. They put their sale ad out on Wednesday. So on Wednesdays the sale ad overlaps. So it'll be last week's sale ad ending that day and then the new one starting up. So you can get good sales that day. And so I have a couple of things that are gonna be on sale through Wednesday and I'll add a couple of things to the list depending on um, what goes on sale. Don't throw them, baby, build. Nah. You build it. House. Yeah, build a house. So I just wrote down my little sprouts list here. I did an HEB delivery, so I didn't need to write down a grocery list for that. I just have my phone with me while I'm meal planning and just insert the things into the app and go ahead and get the order placed. So I will walk through the meals. I did it the same way I did before where I have the six meals here and I plan in for leftovers one day and then I do um, desserty, snacky, or lunch type of things in this bottom section. So this week we're gonna do a whole chicken with baked potatoes and broccoli one night. Then we're gonna do breakfast and I wanna do breakfast because I saw the recipe I saw a recipe for lemon ricotta pancakes. It was a video recipe. I will link to that. It's done from Food Wishes, which is one of my favorite uh, foodie YouTubers. And he'll do eggs and bacon because I don't know if Johnny's gonna really like those pancakes, but I know he'll like eggs and bacon. And we got biscuits to go with that. With the whole chicken, we'll either do baked chicken two nights and then just extend our meal plan out, or we can do chicken tetrazzini with the leftover chicken. I can just take it off of the bone and make the chick chicken tetrazzini. I made that last week. I really liked it. I don't use any kind of recipe. I just kind of wing it, I make a roux, and um, I've got shredded mozzarella to put in it. And then we'll do broccoli and carrots, just roasted. And then if we do the chicken tetrazzini, that'll be two nights worth. I'm sure I make a big pot. And then I saw a recipe on Pinterest. You wanna get up? Yeah. Do you need help? Mm -hmm. Okay, you, you down? Okay. So I'll plan for leftovers if we do that. So the sheet pan, shrimp boil had potatoes and corn, so I'll just put that with the sheet pan, and then I'll do green beans on the side with that. I also want to do onion chicken with asparagus and Mexican rice, and then we'll have a sushi night. I just pick up sushi at Sprouts or H-E-B. And then as far as lunches, I'm just going to kind of wing it this week. I've got a lot of stuff in the freezer that I can have. And then for just, you know, sweet treat days, I want to make Dole Whip. And I guess it's it's sweet, but I'm not adding any sugar into it, so I'm not really counting that as a sweet treat. It's just frozen pineapple blended in a blender with almond milk. So it's just really sweet because of the pineapple, but I don't really count that. I get the pineapple that's in its own juice. And then for an actual sweet treat, I want to make edible cookie dough. This is a recipe I saw, and I really just want to try it out. I love, love cookie dough, and this kind doesn't have egg in it, so it's supposed to be, you know, you can eat it just plain. And then I need to pick up from Sprouts a couple of things. I'll show you guys that haul at the end of my H-E-B haul. Um, by the way, this is a Carrie Elm meal planner. And so I have a video review of this and I've got a coupon for you guys. So check the description box if you're interested in the meal planner itself. Um, I think that covers all of our chit chat. So I will go ahead and show you guys the groceries that I picked up. Here is our HEB delivery. I'll start with the fresh stuff here. We've got some matchstick carrots, a lot of broccoli, some strawberries, some curly parsley. I guess this was just the parsley that they had. We got tortillas, yeah. You wanna play in here? Okay. You can. Daddy can help you play in here if you want. Daddy. We also got some bananas, some corn on the cob, some lemons, and the ricotta cheese or for the lemon ricotta pancakes, some more of the yogurt for Olivia. They didn't have the butter and olive oil spread I usually get, so I just got the salted whipped butter. I thought I would give that a try. Then we got lots of eggs. Did you give Daddy the rest of your tortilla? Yeah. Oh, that was very nice. We already broke into the tortillas. These H-E-B bakery style tortillas are so good. So Johnny and Olivia and I already had one. Then I got some buttermilk biscuits, some sweet corn, two things of the French cut green beans, three things of the almond milk, two that are the vanilla unsweetened and one regular unsweetened. And I've been really just wanting a cereal. And this is one of the cereals out there with the least amount of sugar so I ended up picking it up. It actually is really good. It's one of my childhood favorites so I decided to give that a try. I just in the evening I want something cold since it's so hot here and that just sounded good to me. 
then I also wanted to make Dole Whip this week. Basically, you freeze pineapple chunks and then you mix it with almond milk or, you know, any kind of milk that you have and blend it. So it turns into like a really thick, ice creamy consistency pineapple thing. It's really, really good. I don't add any added sugar. So all I do is I freeze these, blend it with the almond milk, and it's delicious. Then I also needed a couple of baking essentials. I got some sugar. Uh, baking powder and an unsalted butter. We wanted to have some bacon. I got a couple of things for Easter. Um, the eggs were included in this Easter part, so I got this Cool Whip. We dyed the Easter eggs with Cool Whip and food dye last year. I will do a tutorial on this for you guys. It's a really cool way to dye Easter eggs, especially with little ones. And then these are to put in the Easter eggs. I got her some bunnies. Um, two different kinds of bunnies. I also have some bunny grams for the Easter eggs. So she doesn't like chocolate. I thought this would be a good alternative for her. And then all of this back here is sensory bin stuff. They were out of the Elmer's glue, so I'll have to pick some of that up. But we're going to make DIY slime. It takes the baby oil, the contact solution, and glue. And then these are just more beans for her bean bin. And then the vegetable oil is for some other thing. Oh, for the cloud dough, I'm going to be mixing the vegetable oil with flour. Here is our midweek grocery run. I went to Sprouts and I also went to HEB. Tonight is sushi night, so I got sushi. And then the rest of the stuff is just to get us through the week. And you know, following weeks, I got a bunch of stuff. So it'll, it'll definitely last us more than just the end of this week. I thought maybe I would try to wait until next midweek to do another grocery run because I did end up spending quite a bit today. So I ended up getting two things of the cuties. They were buy one, get one free. And Olivia and I have both been loving these lately. I got a French bread for Johnny. And then this one, rosemary olive oil bread. I thought it just looked good, sounded good. We can just have this, um, you know, as a side or just snack on it. Then some potatoes. I want to do some rosemary garlic potatoes. I just think it sounds good. I got a bunch of the baby food pouches. Olivia loves these. And we were out of everything but the applesauce ones. Yeah, these ones are going to be for later. Then I stocked up on meat. A lot of these were on sale, so I got some uncured smoked kielbasa. I can just have that for breakfasts. And then I got a breakfast sausage. This is my favorite um, one. It's nitrate free. The Mild Pork Jones Dairy Farm. And I don't think that one was on sale, but I wanted it anyway. And then the bacon was on sale. I got this double smoked uncured bacon. We, I don't think we've tried this brand, but it just happened to be on sale. And then two sockeye salmon fillets. They're just really big long ones. So this will be two dinners here. Then I saw some things in the freezer section that were on sale. I picked some of these sweet potato hash browns. They could be great for a breakfast, lunch, or dinner for Olivia and I. Southwest hash browns. These ones have the peppers in them. It sounded good to me. It says they're spicy. And then these ones, you know, they're not spicy. They're sweet. And then I also picked up these broccoli and potato fries. I'm not sure how healthy they really are, but it just sounded good. And I thought it would be a nice little quick side we could have. Then some asparagus. It looked great this week. And then two different kinds of these, original meat stick and the pepperoni. So these are the Tillamook Country Smoker and we've had these before, Olivia loved them and she doesn't hey. eat. <laughs> hey. Any, very good. So Olivia and I, I think I got one of each of these a while back. I keep forgetting to get more, but she ate most of them. Uh, every time I would open one, she would just gobble it down. So I wanted to get that for her since she doesn't eat very many different kinds of meats. I thought it'd be a nice little protein for her. And then I got two things of the kettle chips that were on sale. I just got the olive oil and then the jalapenos. We still have lots of tortilla chips and corn chips. Um, and then I picked up this beef jerky for Johnny. We really, really liked the um, salt and pepper one, so I got the old fashioned. This is the same brand as those meat sticks over there, Tillamook Country Smoker. And then I also got some nacho cheese because it just sounded good and I've never seen it in these little things. They had it right by the jerky at HEB. So I thought that'd be a great little uh, extra junky thing for me. I love nacho cheese. <laughs> That's something I never buy. And then I got more tortillas. I've been making breakfast tacos for us, so we went through the other tortillas really fast between snacking and the breakfast tacos. And then tonight is sushi night. I got a crunchy California roll. It's got some spicy mayo on the top, and it's delicious. I got a sample of this one. And then the crawfish roll ended up being Johnny's favorite last time, so I got one of those for him. And then also this all-star combo. This is a combination of San Antonio roll, tempura roll, and 
um, spicy California roll. So we will give that a try. And um, whatever we don't eat tonight, we will um, eat tomorrow night with fried rice. That's what I thought I would do since I ended up picking up three of them. Usually I only pick up two, but I wanted to try all the different ones and I think he'll like that crunchy California roll. So that is gonna wrap up this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you like these grocery hauls and meal plans and be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.